Hello students of standard 8. Welcome to DAV Moel Public School. I am your English teacher Jagruti Mejram. Let's begin our today's online session of English. Today we will continue with the same topic from your practice book Non-Finites. Dear students, let us read the following. I felt like dancing. He missed going to college. Avoid eating junk food. Here Avoid is verb 1 and eating is verb 2. If certain verbs are followed by another verb, the second verb generally takes the ing form. For example, did he mind coming to the office at this hour? He enjoyed listening to the music. Here, as you can see, another verb is followed by second verb therefore ing form is used now given below is a list of few such verbs admit avoid deny dislike enjoy finish go on imagine keep on mind miss stop suggest now fill in the blanks with the ing form of the verbs given in the box below already one is done for you. Read the following. She began working as a junior doctor. She began to work as a junior doctor. I prefer to walk down to my office. I prefer walking down to my office. After certain verbs, we can use either the ing form or the infinitive without any differences in their meaning. Given below is a list of such verbs. Begin, love, prefer, like, continue, hate, start, try, propose, learn, intent. Now, use the following verbs in your own sentences using the ing as well as the two infinitive form. One example is done for you. Love, I love reading short stories. I love to read short stories. Try to finish the remaining one dear student. Dear students, now develop a story using the hints given below. Use as many infinitives, participles or gerunds as you can. Underline the infinitives and the ing form wherever used. Aman, smoking in bed, sleep, suddenly woke up, sheet burning, jump up. Put the fire out, a big hole in the sheet. Resolve never to smoke. The following passage has not been edited. There is one error in each line. Underline the wrong word and write the correct word in the space given. Already two are done for you. Complete the following passage by filling the blanks with the correct form of non-finites given in brackets. Already some are done for you. Dear students, here we end our today's session and this topic. Have a nice day. Thank you.